This video will show you how to perform DNA ligation. The ligation reaction is performed to piece together DNA fragments with cohesive ends, which are produced by restriction digestion. First, prepare the required solutions in an ice box. You need the different DNA samples to be ligated. In this example, the plasmid vector, the YFP gene, and a promoter sequence will be ligated. You also need the nuclease-free water, T4 DNA ligase, and the 10 times T4 DNA ligase buffer. Next, label a clean PCR tube for the negative control reaction and another tube for ligation that will contain all the required DNA fragments. Add the required amount of water into each reaction tube. You should add the component that is required in the largest amount first. Next, add 2 microliters of 10 times DNA ligase buffer into each tube. Next, Add the plasmid vector into the negative control tube without other DNA fragments. Next, add all the three DNA components to be ligated into the other reaction tube. Next, add 1 microliter of T4 DNA ligase into each tube. The DNA ligase enzyme should be added last. Remember to use a new pipette tip when you handle different samples. After the required components are added into each reaction tube, turn on the PCR machine. In this example, the protocol was set to be 22 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes for ligation to take place. However, the ligation temperature depends on the brand and type of DNA ligase used for your experiment. The ligation temperature can range from 16 to 22 degrees Celsius. Place the reaction tubes into the PCR machine and start running the reaction. After the reaction is completed, retrieve your tubes. The ligation product is now ready for further experiments. Store the tubes in the minus 20 degrees freezer if you are not using them straight away. 
If you wish to verify the presence of DNA in the tube, you may perform gel electrophoresis to check if there are bands of the expected sizes.